Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a good day. And today we are going to work on the Village Sampler from Prairie Schooler. Yeah, you knew I couldn't cut into this so I had to do it. Had to do it. But I'm starting and I'm down here on this border and then I'll I might jump up this way to uh get it but today that's what I'm working on and of course I have a knot isn't that just special well I'm just gonna lay that right there and then I'll have to get me a I've got a whole bunch somewhere in something of uh the things to wrap them up with so I'll save my little tag but it's a knot already I mean it was a knot from the get-go why is it that some thread is like that I swear I pull it from the wrong end every time so how is everybody doing is everybody doing okay in quarantine I hope well kind of quarantine I went had my daughter called this morning and said I'm out of pop and I'm teaching the kids and oh yeah she was stressed out so yeah so grandma to the rescue again so hey enough enough Molly says grr hi oh geez so I had to go and get her some pop and got the kids lunchables for lunch since grandma can't take you out to lunch Jeez Louise, I'm telling you. Well, I would use one of my things. Maybe I can get it. Oh, jeepers, creepers. Didn't know it was going to be this difficult. Two minutes in and I'm already fumbling around for stuff. Let's see here. That is, if I can get my needle threader in there. I try not to use it with these um, 28 counts because it's broken them before. I ordered um, some more thread. Oh, yeah, I went crazy again. Yeah. I ordered <coughs> extra thread for the linen and threads thing. And I ordered like five packs of 28 count needles which are my absolute favorite now you know it's amazing what you can find and I ordered a few more uh, cross stitches I don't know if it was two or three anymore I can't even remember maybe I ordered four I don't remember but I ordered the thread for one of the big ones so you'll just have to wait to see that one. It'll probably be another week before we get that. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where to stitch from. And I'm going backwards. So now I got to... I'm telling you. So other than that, I went to the grocery store and came back home. And not much else going on here. I bought some uh, beef short rib ribs, which I never see, and I used to love them. So I thought, and I couldn't, haven't been able to get them. Finally, I guess they got some in. Let me see here if I can pull my light around so you can see what the heck I'm doing. And yeah. So I worked on this last night. I started uh, Game of Swans and I started the Elemental Dragons. I'm liking them all. Yeah, it was money well invested. So I started three projects last night. Yeah. I'll show you what I got done on them. Hang on. Be right back. they're in their handy dandy packages because I bought two 18 count bag things and 
I'm sure that this material that Game of Swans is on, I didn't know that a group of swans is called a game. You know, like a herd of cow. I mean, yeah, herd of cows or whatever. Well, a group of swans is called a game of swans. Hang on. Yeah, this material is like 400 times too big. And it is on 16 count country French Cafe Mocha. If I can get to the right side. Oh, jeez please. Hang on, guys. It's down here somewhere. So, I started this in the lower left-hand corner. And I started to put this here. This is going to have to go away. So that I could get to this. Well... I thought, well, I'll just put that butterfly. I've got plenty of material, trust me. This is like a 35 by 50 piece of fabric, which needs to be cut down. But until I establish where that's going to be. So let me get good gravy. I got two pieces of thread going. Yes, I'm parking. Don't ask. It, it just evolved. But I got the little butterfly done, and now I'm working on the, the flowers up there. There's some flowers, and every other one is a different color, so that's why I have two strands of thread there. So that was all I got done on Game of Swans last night. I just woo, wanted to check out the pattern and see how it was going. Hang on. That thing is not going to be that big. I don't know. But I'll have extra, you know, for the other thing. Then I started the Elemental Dragon. I think it is so cool. Look at that pattern. Oh, my God. It's like, oh, geez, am I going to get this or not? So, anyway, this is 16 count Christmas red and a hair. Okay. And... I worked in the lower left hand corner again. So, let me just. And I got too big of a needle. So, I'm going to have to change it out to 18 count. So, I'm starting. I don't know if you can see this. It's the dragon's face. So, it's like upside down. The dragons are coming out, and this is their like smoke. So that's what these are, and that's their mouth. So, and it's the same pattern in all four corners. It's like a symmetrical thing. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I like that. And the thread, I don't know, it turns out more orange here, but it's actually a, an actual Christmas red. And this is turning out really nice against it too. So I'm really happy I got that color because I don't have any other choice. So, that is what I did. I just sat there after I did my video and just stitched until I couldn't see straight and went from one to the next. And finally, I quit about 11 o'clock last night. So, whoops. Oh, God, don't lose the pattern. Sorry. But it's cool. So, but this I thought would be easier, um, hang on, you know, i got to let the dog out. Go outside. Go outside. Where you at? No? Okay. I guess it's me making the noise. I thought the dog was prancing around waiting to go outside. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, we'll just set that up there. So, because we're working with this green and this, um, this pattern thing goes all the way around and then I'll start down here and I think maybe I'll do it in like fall colors I mean I went with the the called for colors so I guess I'm just stuck with what I got but they are predominantly fall so that's okay because fall's my favorite time of year it's not too hot it's not too cold it's perfect and it's not snowing usually so yeah so I've been working a little bit on that, and this is on, hang on, sorry, didn't mean to hit the thing, Country French Cafe Mocha as well. 
I like this color because it's a nice neutral color and I've got some stuff coming for that I ordered another arm I guess you'd call it that for my uh, camera or my phone and but it's not going to be here until May so go figure it may get here earlier we will see and uh, I ordered a set of gosh I don't know was there six 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 inch um, plastic hoops they're pretty much made the same way as these are this is my bigger one because the smaller one is on my uh, what do you call it linen and thread thing so yay hope I'm getting that in the right place I have to see what I'm doing here because it's supposed to go in the center I may have to redo a couple but we will see Maybe if I set it this way it won't look so yeah that's off crap I'll go back and fix it but not right now so, other than that, I was a little bit busy last night trying to get those things started because I really wanted to work on them. And the other package that I'm expecting from uh, Silver Needle should be here tomorrow. So, I may or may not do a, a video on that. But getting some stuff in then I'll have to turn right around and go to one two three stitch and order um, all the thread for Newcastle bouquet and uh, what is that other thing heaven and nature it's hard to see the middle of that trying to keep it in view for you but I hope y'all are stitching and not watching me stitch but um, got to see my grandkids. They were doing schoolwork. Oh, geez. They, everybody was a little hyper when I got there. Uh, I'm sure mom's about fit to be tied, but at least the, her only saving grace is that she gets to go to work. Um, at 5 o'clock and work till 10. So she at least gets out of the house for a little bit. But this is a nice easy pattern I didn't see I didn't really look real hard but I didn't see any um, specialty stitches in this thank God I don't know if they're known for specialty stitches or not so oh my goodness really I watched uh, fiber talk they're on I think it's Tuesday Crap, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, well, no wonder that's not working. Never mind. I thought I lost my... Like, I lost my needle. I didn't. It's at the other end of the thread. Oh, jeez. Um, they're on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. or And then on Sundays, they have a, a special guest. But you ought to go check them out. They're going to have a... Um, I probably won't be able to participate. Who knows what I'm going to be doing for Easter. But on Easter Sunday, they're going to have a stitchathon from noon till 6. And I'm sure they'll be having, they always have giveaways. And they have uh, special guests sometimes. But uh, I really like it. But I'm really excited about that. Stitchathon. I wish I could stitch for six hours, but you know, that won't be happening. I could sit there and listen because you know they're always full of information. They've been doing this for a while, and and uh, I just like listening to Gary and Vanna. So if you've never watched that, check out Fiber Talk on uh, YouTube. And I'm sure they have something on uh, Instagram and all that, but I just watch the one on YouTube. 
because I don't have Instagram. I should, but I'm just not in the mood to go through all that stress of signing up and everything. So, and I know on Instagram, uh, Bendy Stitchy Stitcher, that Michelle Garrett, she has um, gone through and found all of the uh, what do you call it? The Be Well and Stitch things. So she's got links to all of them. And there's probably over a hundred now. So. Fun times. Fun, fun times. I didn't work on my uh, linen and threads. I've started the, uh, what do you call it? The big bouquet of flowers that's in part two of that. I'm sorry, I gotta move my mess here. Come on out of there. See, I stopped right there. So, like, I'm learning parking by default here. There we go. I just love these hoops. They're nice and smooth. They don't catch on anything. This is an 8. It says right here. 8. So, it's just a little bit bigger than what I like to use. Sorry, i got to turn it around again. Oh, jeez. So, I found this really cute pattern at 123 stitch and I don't remember what it's actually called but it's it's got a birdhouse kind of an elaborate looking birdhouse I mean nothing with beads or anything weird but it's kind of elaborate looking and uh, all over it is like blue jays and orioles and what are those other things cardinals and robins in the thing and it says like home sweet home I think is the name of it and don't ask me who made it but uh, I thought that would be interesting to do and didn't give a list unfortunately of the uh, threads that it needs so I'll have to order that too like oh my gosh but I just thought it was really pretty and it's kind of summer springy looking you know type thing so I just thought that would be cool. I'll show it to you when I get it. So, like I said, it probably won't be till next Friday by the time I get it. But, you know, I'm staggering this stuff so much that... Jeez. I'll be lucky to remember what the heck I did order. But I got a... great big it's a new long dog but it's not a new pattern for them so it's another big one of course you know I just can't resist the big ones with lots and lots of colors I wanted to get cardinal points but I at one point found it at I believe it was the silver needle maybe but I can't find it now, so I'll have to remember where the heck I did see that thing. But that's another one I'd like to get, a long dog. It's just lots of pretty colors. Lots and lots and lots. So, I'm going to get across here and watch um, Call the, the Midwife. For gosh, I'm... The whole time I was stitching, so it was probably three or four hours worth of them. I love that series. And I've been watching it for a couple of years. I don't get it on TV, you know, so I can't watch it on actual time, but um, I've been watching it on Netflix since. I got here, I think, pretty much. Well, once I got cable, so that was like 2016. So it's been four years or so. 
and they keep adding them. I don't know what they're going to, all these TV shows are going to do, you know, what they've got filmed or not filmed, or if we'll even have a new season. So, who knows? Just kind of a wait and see attitude. Oh, goodness gracious. But, other than that, just not much going on here. Because it's <coughs> pretty quiet. I mean, we usually go to lunch, and we usually go shopping at the thrift store. Both of them are closed. I'm really getting sick of the grocery store. It, it's not providing a good outlet for me. So I guess that's why I'm spending money online more so than anything. This is kind of boring. That's why I'm only going to do like all the way across here and then start where that tree is and the little flowers in the fence and everything. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And it's not too big. It is the, the size of it. Oh, come on. Let's see here. On 16 count, it is 8 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 eighths. 14 count is 10 by 13. So it's not a very big pattern. So... But it'll give us all something to look new to look at. Okay, got to get my extra little stitch here. And then I'll get rid of this thread. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today. I know it was kind of boring, but at least you got to see what I got started. And I like to get it kind of a head start, not a head start, but just get a start and do something different. Because I've been sewing on them other six for a while. But, um, oh crap. At least the edges of this material is all uh, surged. I love that part. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, thank you for joining me. Like I said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out and y'all have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. God bless. Bye-bye.